alaikum and good day to everyone in this video i will show you how to create a slope floor to a floor drain or floor slab in a bathroom or restroom in construction a slope floor is important to ensure that water flows accordingly to the floor trap and to instigate water standing in the area okay so in this video, we will use this restroom or toilet toilet area here to create a, a slope floor. Okay, for this example. Okay, the first step to create slope floor, we must select the model model slab. We can just click share cross here, yeah, share cross and filter all right filter here check none we just select floors only and okay <coughs> so we got the modify tab here so here's modify the extra modify tools for sketch oh, sketch sketch model all right We will first step we will add the split line to split the toilet floor from the entire floor for the level. Okay. So we can just click the area here. Or maybe ah, click the area here. <coughs> Just eyeball it. And last, we snap in here. Okay. Okay, then press escape twice. Okay. Now, we have split element. Okay, select the slab first. Okay, select the <coughs> floor of slab. Then, oh yeah, none. Filter, check none. Floors, okay. Then you can see that there are square dots here to indicate that we have split this this area from the entire level floors okay so we can change the slope for the bathroom area without effect without affecting the, the entire or other floor for the level okay so we can just modify sub element then we add point okay so Place the point where we want to place the flow trap or flow drain. Okay, yeah, select the one here and also one here. Okay, so here's our slope point. Press escape. Okay, escape once, then we can select here. Select the point. And you can see the level here on the screen or you can see at the selection uh, at the what you call option bar here okay you can change to a negative negative 
one inch for 50 mm right one inch enter then you can see the the area for the of the slab will have direction line here okay then we change here also negative one inch inch enter or so now both point have been sloped you can just click scale twice okay so for the arrow slope arrow we can draw by using annotate detail line here and you can just draw it according to the slope line of the model okay. so here so Okay, to see more clearly about our slope form, you can just select and selection box here. Okay. okay. Only adjust the selection box so we can see the interior. So you can see that our floor has been sloped. You can change it to shaded so you can see it clearly. Okay. So here's the point that we put the slope data. Okay. So you can just put your floor track at the point, at the both points. So architecture component, you'll see the floor drain so block family. Glacier, uh, <coughs> plumbing, MEP, uh, fixtures, and you go to drain folder drain round okay they are also rectangle okay so place on face you can just point or place the floor drain at the point okay view here all right and just a little bit So okay, now you can see the basement of our floor drain. Maybe you need to change the size. This is getting good.
so this for rectangular one we can change to the round type of flow drain here and change the type in the type selector round 5080 okay. so maybe the slab has its slab thickness but you can clearly clearly see here okay Flow drain. Alright. Just VR. So that's how you do it, a slope flow drain or slope flow slab, okay? Thank you for watching.